Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. And welcome back to Summerdale. I know it's fall. I know it's almost Halloween, but we're <laughs> but we're still calling this Summerdale. So this is indeed another episode. Of this is episode ten of Summerdale. Hi there, YouTube friends. Hi there, Planet Coaster friends. I feel like um, the last several weeks I've been balancing three different communities. It's really interesting as a YouTube creator. Uh, it's interesting to see like who watches what. Like it's easy to see that uh, for the last couple weeks, Planet Zoo was hot and heavy with a lot of new subscribers. And I'm sure a bunch of you who enjoy my Planet Coaster content watched at least a few of the Planet Zoo episodes. Hopefully you enjoyed that content too. And you're as excited as I am about what's coming in Planet Zoo. But then we released uh, over the weekend a Zuri Gardens. And that feels like a totally different community. Like that's the, the, the Planet Coaster community that Jaunty and I have built. And it, it there's, there's, there's a lot of overlap. Again, you probably, if you watch me, you probably watch a Zuri as well. And, uh, but this is, this feels like getting back to, to, to the roots here. This is just me, just me, doing Planet Coaster, doing realistic builds, doing highly generic, uh, high detailed stuff. And that's what Summerdale is. And I have a feeling that that's what most of the people who watch me regularly are looking for. So, hi, I'm glad to be back. I enjoy this park. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I've been kind of stuck, and that's why you haven't seen anything from me. I've been, first of all, I've been uh, just totally overwhelmed with Planet Zoo. It was tons of fun, and, and it is coming back uh, as soon as it drops on, I think, the 5th or 6th, whatever. Whatever day in November it drops, that's, that's going to be, it's going to be Planet Zoo hot and heavy, so get ready. But, but. It's going to be this style. So if you like this super generic, if you like this kind of idea, I think you'll still like what I have to offer for you in Planet Zoo. So I do encourage you to at least check it out. And hopefully, at the very least, um, you'll, you'll, you'll appreciate the aesthetic and the style just with a different medium, a different set of Legos, a different box of crayons. Um, but just because Planet Zoo is going to be hot and heavy starting in November does not mean that Planet Coaster is going away. I don't want anyone to ever think that Planet Coaster will not be a focal point on this channel, or at the very least, a theme park builder uh, will not be present on this channel. My channel is built on theme park games. Started all the way back with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Don't go watch. They're terrible. They're bad. Don't look at them. I promise. They're gross. And then I'm watching you're all going to go look at them now. Um, but I am not the YouTube creator I am if I am not playing theme park simulators. So don't worry. And especially don't worry about Summerdale because it would be a really jerk move to abandon a project where I've asked my community for help and have gotten such great stuff in return, only to say, man, I don't feel like making this anymore. That's not going to happen. That is not, you have my word that uh, even if it takes months, this project will be finished. Your stuff that you've submitted that I have put in the park will find a home and you will, I will not leave this incomplete this will get finished so don't worry if you're like oh it's been a long time i wonder if he abandoned it nope did not abandon it anyway let's talk about what's going on in the episode here today i'm trying to shore up this area near the ferris wheel i asked for advice and a lot of you suggested that that big open area would be good for a locker room completely agree so that's what we're doing we turned it into a kind of an open air locker room we kind of made this huge structure around the ferris wheel that encapsulates the queue and then this locker building and then on the other corner is a much more um like permanent structure and that is the restroom facility and that's what we're working on in quite a bit of detail here so uh, it actually does house some restrooms, and I realize I only have two now that this is here. This and then the restrooms way at the other entrance of the park are the only restrooms we have, so we are going to need to add a few. Uh, I took this cornice idea, or this trim idea, it's not cornice, this trim idea, uh, similar to what I did for the Kinderly's Fudge Shop in the previous episode. I went ahead and I did that, and now that I'm thinking about it, I realize I didn't actually finish it, so I'll we'll have to go in and finish it. Um, 
but I took this idea from the Fudge Shop, which and that shop took the idea from uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, specifically the Shy Guy, uh, Shy Guy Main Street sets. This feels very, this building felt very Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 to me, just like the Fudge Shop did, and I like that aesthetic. And so I want to kind of incorporate it in, in bits and bobs here in the park. So a little concerned about how big and flat of a wall this is. However, um, I think it's okay. Another concern I have in this area is how narrow it is between the actual entrance gate and then whoosh, this locker building. It's quite a narrow corridor. And uh, there's really not much I can do about it now. I've kind of developed the area too much to make any significant changes. So, uh, yeah, we're going to roll with it, and I think it's okay. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it overall, uh, but some, 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 some sticky bits that didn't quite uh, line up quite the way I wanted, but we're going to give it the old good enough attitude. So, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I, but I do like the way this Ferris wheel ended up being kind of nestled into this structure. I think it kind of gives the a ferris wheel some more permanent a feeling of permanence uh like a permanent structure and and and, and then also it kind of solidifies the whole area as a major kind of entrance focal point so using some windows as walls here because i'm using tmtk roofs which aren't quite one height though you'll notice the one height or, or the one meter height roof pieces don't quite fit so i have to use these pieces but it's okay in the end it's not uh, too much of a burden uh, one of the things i did do and i don't know if you're even going to notice it in the time lapse here but i've been having struggles with my autosave because this park is so massive every 10 minutes the park would stutter and freeze for about 30 seconds which was making it incredibly difficult to get into a groove so what i ended up doing is uh apparently you can go all, not apparently but you can go into one of the game files and you can um, change the the frequency of the autosave. And so it's set for, I think, 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. Uh, I set it for 3,600 seconds, which is an hour. So now my game will only autosave once every hour. And with a park with this many pieces in it, um, let me tell you what, it made a huge difference. It was really incredible how nice it was to not have to stop every 10 seconds for um, for some for something else for, for for the game to save it was nice I could never get into a groove so when I changed it um, I jumped back in and started playing again and I was able to play all the way through without an auto save because I didn't play for an hour and uh, it was just so nice to just get into a groove and just build without worrying about anything so since it was so narrow by this entrance area here I wanted to open the area up by the um, inverted coaster. I thought it would be nice to kind of open it up, add a big old tree and a planter, and kind of condense things, or kind of open things up a little bit to make it feel a little less claustrophobic. So that's what's going on here, and this is the final part of our time lapse. So we do some simple path work here, some simple curbing, and we throw in some really generic, just lots of green. We raise everything up a little bit. A lot of the techniques that I'm doing here, I learned from my friend N7, and he does a lot of stuff with terrain work. He's kind of a gardening guru. It's kind of his passion in life, our plants and gardens. So uh, anyway, that's going to come in handy when we do Planet Zoo, when we do uh, Season Zoo of... Uh, Bro Coaster. So get ready for Bro Coaster Season Zoo. It will be in Planet Zoo, but it'll be the same goofy banter and the same awesomeness that uh, Season 1. Speaking of, the end of Season 1 is coming any day now. We've already recorded it, just waiting on Mike to finish editing it, and then it will be released to you, and that will put the big old done stamp on Season 1 of Planet Bro Coaster. So lots of things happening in the YouTube universe, even though uh, content is kind of dribbling out now that Planet Zoo is over. So anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to hop into real time, and we're going to take a look at some more of the amazing community creations that, that people made for Summerdale. So I will see all of you on the other side of this cut. Okay, so here we are in our real-time portion where we're going to take a look at some of the amazing things that the awesome Planet Coaster community has made for Summerdale. And we're going to start right here with this first one. It is Stuffy's Beer and Ale Beds and Breakfast. This is made by Mate Jakesman. 
And it actually wasn't made for Summerdale. He had used it in his own project and asked if I wanted it. And I said, absolutely. Because just look at the details on this. I absolutely love it. Look at the raised um, sidewalks here with the subtle incline for ramps. Like, that's so nice. Look at this. And the details are so beautiful. You've got your... Your, uh, you've got the, the tank up there, and just, I think these are, look at the inset windows. You know me, I love my inset windows. And we've got the barrel here for the brewery. It's such a pretty little building. I really enjoy it. So that's super great. It, well, it is currently sitting on a new little alleyway here because I needed some more corners for all these awesome corner buildings. But ooh, look at this. I didn't even realize this shot was so nice. Look at that. That's a cool angle. I really like that. And then we have here, Major Inclines, very clever name by the way, Army Surplus, Buy, Sell, and Trade. Now I don't remember who made this one, but on the screen you will see who created this. Uh, and it, I look at the tank, look at how good that tank is. Major Inclines, Army Surplus. And the targets is really clever. Really, really well done. It's a Quonset hut. You, if you've watched Pro Coaster, you know I have an intimate relationship with Quonset huts. Uh, I went to school, elementary school. We had gym in a Quonset hut. Camo boots, knives, and rope, backpacks, camping, and first aid. And look at all the clutter, the junk. It's a little kind of rundown looking, a little skeezy looking, but I love it. I think it's so, so nice. And then we flip around and we have... <laughs> we have a library. This is the Summerdale Library. I originally had it closer to the main street, but I wanted it over here to flesh this area out a little bit. And if we look, I think we can go inside. Look, there's actually an interior here. Look at this. We got the person sitting down at the library or at the table. Look at this. This is so cool. It's so good. I expect to see a ghost in here, though. Like, this reminds me so much of the of the opening scene from Ghostbusters. Clever, we don't need backs of the shelves. No one's gonna be in here looking at this. That's very good. Good thought, good way to reserve pieces. Like, just from the outside, it's clear there's a bunch of books in there. So that's super good. I might add a sign so people know what this is, but yeah, pretty good. I have another awesome bakery here. This one's a little more over the top, a little more heavily themed, but there's something about this checkerboard that I just really enjoyed. And all the different materials kind of somehow working together to create this unique uh, look. I just had to include it. I really enjoyed it. So again, on the screen, you'll see who this was that made this as well as its official title. And remember, all these buildings will be included in the collection once the series. It might not be up to date currently, but by the time the series is done, you can get all of these items in the Summerdale collection. So super Super thrilled with how this building looks. It's very different, very, very different compared to a lot of the other buildings. But at the same time, I think it kind of works with what's next door. And here next door, we kind of have the complete opposite. Super realistic build. This is the Santa Bish Travel Agency. And uh, this is made by Silent Member. Silent Member is a huge member of uh, such a big deal on Bro Nation. He's one of super helpful people who's, who's super active. And he has his own awesome mini project called Santa Bish Boardwalk, and it is great. So he decided to make for us a uh, a, a uh, travel agency. And he, again, he did an interior. It's very nice. Really enjoy it. It's such an antiquated idea, a travel agency. Uh, I don't think I've... I don't even know if they're around anymore. Like, my parents used to use them when we would plan our trips um, to to Florida, but I'm not even sure they're used anymore. Now people just do it all online. Either way, though, I love the details. He has a video on this. If you, uh, He has a video for his Mini Build Monday series where he built this, and you should totally check that out. Mini Build Mondays, and you will find this building in a time lapse with um with uh, silent members commentary so now we're going to go ahead and cross the street we're actually going to look at the ripley's once it's in a better place this is a ripley's or it's, it's a raven excuse me we'll look at it once it's in a uh in a, in a more permanent state so here we have a modern ooh, a modern art sculpture using coaster track which i think is super clever 
and I really enjoy that. And I like it because it's directly across from the park, and it kind of is, it kind of blends in, I think, with what's going on with the park. Super, super dig that. So very cool. And then you'll remember we had, we used to have Bandit's Retreat here, but I scooted it way, way down because I remember that I, because uh, I was reminded that I had told Mr. Domez, another member of Bro Nation, that he had this corner for a gas station. And check out what he made. He made this. This is called Maskies. And uh, for people who live in Texas, you'll know what this is referencing. This is referencing Bucky's. And Bucky's is our roadside gas stations off the interstate. And they're famous for like super clean bathrooms and delis and all kinds of food options. They have jerky, they have gift shops. It's this huge, huge roadside uh, like uh, gas station and just stop. And he totally nailed it. I can tell you, as someone who stops at Bucky's every time we either go up to Dallas or go out to San Antonio, he absolutely nailed the architecture, nailed the vibe. It is so good. I absolutely love it. So this is Bucky's gas station. He's got a nod to N7, to Mike Sheets with the FizzWiz. FizzWiz was a company in one of Mike's uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 projects, CPG. It also makes no, It also makes an appearance in um, in No Name Landia. We have a FizzWiz uh uh, cart. So, but look at we've got the Texas Stars up there. Those are all across the Buckies. We've got ourselves the entrance here. Here's our gas pumps, and the sign is just everywhere. And that's absolutely right. Uh, the real version of Buckies, it's a beaver. Uh, Mr. Domez was clever enough to turn it into a raccoon to go with me, Mass Bandit. And I am just so, so pleased with this. This is so great. I'm so happy. Like this view just. It doesn't even feel like we're playing City Skylines anymore. But then you turn around, and while you're pumping your gas for the day, look at this. Pump your gas, and you get a view of the park here. That's just so cool. I absolutely love it. So super happy with this. We're going to look at two more. Here we have an apartment complex. And this actually was not built for Summerdale. I was just perusing the workshop, and I stumbled upon this. And I, uh, I messaged the creator and asked if I could use it for the project, and he was kind enough to tell me, yes, absolutely. So I threw this in. This is an awesome apartment complex. I think it fits really well because we have some taller buildings here, and that also meant that this, bu this building could fit here. And I love this. This is so beautiful. We've got... What I really like about it is like these custom signs here, the Jamba Juice sign. I think that's so neat, and there's a pool up there. It is so well done. This architecture is so good. And it's very nice to have it if I zoom out. Like, we've got these three big buildings here. And that's kind of like, I guess, the new builds of uh, the new builds of Summerdale. And it actually kind of feathers into the background quite nicely. I know i got to cover up that cave. I will try to cover up that cave. We'll see what happens. But... Yeah, I'm just absolutely blown away again by how amazing all of you are. So um, at this point, I probably have enough. But if you feel so inclined to make something for Summerdale, I don't want to tell you no because you never know. If it's amazing, I will absolutely find a place for it. So don't be discouraged if you're looking at this stuff and saying, oh my gosh, it's so good. It is so good. But you should try too. Um I can tell you right now, though, we're at that point where not everything will get picked. Um, but if it's just if it just kind of makes my jaw drop, I will absolutely find a plate. I will squeeze it in somewhere. So ah, oh, there are two. I'm sorry, there are two more things I want to look at since they're over here. Um, I want to look at this. Take a look at this. We have a 30 minute tune up, a a little garage, a uh, mechanic, and it actually has an interior. And this feels just like. Look at the old school computer. I love it. This feels like a skeezy. Oh, look at the TV. <laughs> That's gross. This feels like such a skeezy mechanic waiting room. I mean, we've all been there before. I love it. And then out here, we got the people working on the car. I love this. So nice. Fuel auto repair. Buy three tires, get the fourth free. Huzzah. And if we turn the corner here, in actually the parking lot of Bandit's Retreat. 
We have Because Race Car Motorsports, built by Because Race Car, a friend of mine, someone I was fortunate enough to meet at Cedar Point this summer, and uh, he built a garage specifically for race cars, but one of, and he loves to put Easter eggs in his projects. One of his Easter eggs right here is actually from the Summer Bro Down. These are the scores of the Summer Bro Down. So I love this. We have duct taped Snuffle Up a Guy, No Name Timia, and Three Hoes and a Double D. And those are their actual points that they earned in the Summer Showdown out of 100. So 98 out of 100, 80 out of 100. And that's so clever and so nice. I love to see things like that. I'm a sucker for good. Um, I'm a sucker for clever um, Easter eggs like that. So, again, if you are feeling invigorated with this now that the series is back, if you are excited and these kind of builds get you going, do not hesitate to build something. I think it would be super cool for you to make something for the park. So, I'm going to find a nice little angle here. We're going to fill up our gas tank while we look at uh, Summerdale here. We're going to be at pump number two seven ish we'll be right here and that's going to do it for us today so if you liked the episode please go ahead and hit the like button and uh, all that other good stuff and with all that being said have a great day great night great whatever and i'll see all of you for the next episode of summerdale take care everyone i'll talk to you later bye bye